after Liberty's Colin Porter fired a leveling three-pointer. Terrell Burden fouled at the last second and fired a free throw to get Kennesaw State to dance. When Amir Abdur Rahim arrived in Kennesaw State in the spring of 2019, he was aware that the program had a history. Sure, it didn't come at the Division I level, but it was still a national championship program in 2004. Yet there was no evidence of that when he entered the team's court four years ago. The team's Division II national championship banner was in a storage locker. As soon as Abdur Rahim found him, he went to school's facilities and asked the people to hang on beams, it was a great symbol of the special things that can be done here, Abdur Rahim told ESPN on Monday morning. We used it, not just with recruiting, but with our team. There are people here who care about this program. It was a place with no identity. But it was on the verge of doing something really special. The Owls now have two more banners. Hang next to them. Atlantic Sun sharing regular season championship with Liberty. And then punching their tickets NCAA tournament on Sunday after defeating Flames in conference. Tournament championship game. They are waiting for the announcement of where they will land in the 68th area next Sunday. Sunday's victory capped one of the biggest comebacks in recent college basketball history. With Kennesaw State climbing from one win in Abdur Rahim's first season to 26 this season. To be honest, this is crazy, he said. The Kennesaw State Owls hadn't had that winning feeling in their 18 years of playing Division I. College basketball. This year's team broke the schedule record for one season wins in mid-January. For a coach who has spent the last five years on top rosters at Texas A&M and Georgia, taking over one of college basketball's worst teams was a very different experience. Still, Abdur Rahim didn't want to have to reverse the schedule in a year and then start over again every season. The process would take longer. He wanted a long-term view. Some things need to be built with the high school kids to sustain them over time. While we build a different team each year, not everyone's participation is the same. We wanted to build with the high school kids. I grow old with the same guys. I'm lucky and blessed to be able to do that. Abdur Rahim and his team had only two scholarships. When they took over Kennesaw State, the first two recruits were starting guard Terrell Burden and backup striker Armani Harris. The next round of recruiting, Owls signed with Chris Youngblood, Brandon Stroud, Spencer Rogers and Kasson Jennings. On Sunday, five of the six players signed in Abdur Rahim's first two years clocked at least 20 minutes. The road to the NCAA tournament was not without growing pains. Of course, Kennesaw State was one of the worst teams in the country in 2020 and 2021. The Owls have won 1-28 overall in 2020, winning just one ASUN match. The following season, they only improved slightly, finishing 5-19 overall and 2-13 in the league. The transfer portal is getting more and more attractive. Abdur Rahim said, after our second year, we should get old, we should go and be as talented as we can get. My assistant coach, Ben Fletcher, says, no, you didn't say you wanted to do it that way. We are right there. We are not panicking right now. Now we will not spoil our character. Let's stay determined and continue to develop. The Owls Division II Men's Championship banner hangs in the gym once again and will soon be joined by two Division I banners celebrating the program's impressive return. Courtesy KSU Athletics it worked both ways, the talented young players Abdur Rahim recruited in. Those first few seasons could have pursued other options. Many outsiders. What are you doing here? Why don't you enter the portal? Burden told ESPN. Everything would come together. Running away from problems will get you nowhere. It won't teach you anything. Embrace the journey through seasons of pain and failure before you experience successes. In 2021-22, Kennesaw State finally showed signs of life. 
climbing 7-9 in conference play and taking wins against Bellarmine and Jacksonville. Last season's ASUN Tournament Championship finalists. Despite everything, the core of the team remained intact, resulting in an improvement of 25 wins in just three seasons. It was only a matter of time before we got the same group, Burden said. Learning how to win is the hardest part. When you learn how to win, it's easier to do than learn. Winning ASUN's bid to enter NCAA tournament took four years making of Amir Abdur Rahim, who inherited one of worst programs in Division I men's college basketball at time when he came. Here 2019. That was most important thing, he added, referring to the juniors and seniors who have stayed together since beginning of this year. We've all been through the same things. They're my brothers now. Keeping the core group was more important to me than people might understand. It's easy to say you're a young group. Go kick some guys out of the group. Transfer the portal and get old. But when you can adapt as a young unit, it makes it 10x better. Both Abdur Rahim and Burden flash back to a moment from their first season. Together as they discuss the extraordinary transformation, the Owls lost to NJIT on Seniors Day, and both Burden and Harris were sidelined due to injury, as team moved away from field. Then freshman head coach walked up to two recruits in midfield. Don't get used to it, because it won't always be like this. The crowd this atmosphere will not be like this. The team and culture that it will change once we start winning. Men's tournament challenge complete your group by choosing the winner for each game of the 2023 men's NCAA tournament. Play the tournament challenge Burden and Harris remembered this moment four years later on Sunday. In front of a school record of 3,805, both of them went to Abdur Rahim and thanked him. It has a different meaning to seeing it bear fruit, Burden said. It was a different feeling. It was time to remind him of that. One week into election Sunday. Biggest concern for Kennesaw right now is when the banners will be put up. Whether this week or at start of next season. But they certainly won't be in a storage cabinet. They will come right next to the 2004 National Championship banner, said Abdur Rahim.